guys welcome back to another video here today on the channel uh, the four weekly objective cards have been released for player of the seasons throughout the various different leagues um, the first one we're going to get into is Max Aaron's a right back 84 card um, and for this objective you had to have 11 silver English players in a squad and win the game whilst not using any gold players I just took out any any English uh, players that I had that were silver and the first game in the online single matches we do get matched against another English silver team I've already done four by this stage so I was just filming the last one um, before we get into the stats and the other players as well uh, click, a subs click the subscribe button on the video so you don't miss anything out all that good stuff Clark Williams here at the start of the second half gets a lucky um, deflection off the goalie gets past, holds off the two defenders and taps in the back of the net um, I go celebrating into the camera so I hope he rage quits and uh, so I just hurry up my game my gaming experience I wanted to get the cards as quickly as possible for the video but he did pause it but he didn't rage quit so the second goal here nice through ball into Barrow Barrow chips the goalie nicely into the side netting I try to waste as much of this guy's time as possible in the hope he'll get a rage quit but I just end up skipping it instead thinking I can score a few more goals and I do end up to score a few more goals as you can see there shots 10 for me 7 for him um, Chowdhury passes into Harriot before he gives it back to Barrow. Um, nice run into Harriot, green timed with his freestyle weak foot into the back of the net. And he pauses it there as I go into the dab. But I'm going to tell you that he is not going to rage quit now. And I end up winning the game 4 0. Hit Akin Femwa, uh, doing a little bit of skill in the corner of the pitch, getting into the box before squaring it across to Harriot again. Um, I tried. Oh, I do dab as a celebration again, but he does not rage quit. He keeps playing till the end. So I go in to the 90th minute as 4 0 winner. Uh, I don't think he was that unlucky. All his shots were like either off target or straight at the goalie. Today, there, I'm just trying to waste his time. Hopefully, well, at the time I thought he would rage quit, but no. That's the end of the game. A barrel of the man of the match. 4 0 victory. Comfortable 4 0 victory didn't really trouble me there and that was Max Aaron's completed the weekly objective and I got unlocked that football there as well nothing too major and we go into the second weekly objective card which is Timu Puki I don't know if that's how you pronounce it uh, you had to score in four separate online single matches with an EFL player and as I had Barrow and Harriet I already did that three times so the last game I just put a random defence which got full cam and then a couple of Reading players across the midfield and two up top. Um, we, we meet this guy who was going for the same objective as he had a, a silver team. I don't know why they went all English. He would tick both in one. But anyway, in the second minute, just after his attack, first year he picks up the ball, goes through the entire pitch, doesn't get tackled before giving it into Harriet with I will finish into the top bin so he could get us underway into the victory. Does a celebration, nice celebration. Skip the replay. Before I lose the ball in the middle of the park, he gives it into Gardner, passes it to Morrison, first Thierry with a nice pass into the Elliot, and then good finish from him. That was 1 1 after 12 minutes, but I do get the better of the game. Uh, after I believe an interception I then managed to get through on goal with Forest Thierry as well it was a good finish from him to equalize the game actually very top corner I don't know why silver players are actually that good there we go there's the interception I was talking about Skriniar that's why I had a gold defense so I had a better chance nice one two of Sudani and then Forest Thierry whacks one in with a green time finish into the top bins and the result of that was a rage quit. So that was Timu Puki and his weekly objective player of the season or player of the year card. Um, we'll look at all the player stats at the end of, of the video. But for now, um, the last two, James Collins, which is scoring seven goals in squad battles of Republic of Ireland players. And winning two squad battles by two goals. So I did both of them at the same time pretty much. 
I'm not going to bore you with the gameplay because Squad Battles playing on the difficulty I did professional. Um, I don't want to bore you so I'm just going to show you the end result. See I went with the same defence and then just Irish players across the midfield and attack. Um, there's no point of really playing a higher difficulty than what is required. Just You're just making it harder for yourself. So I did go into the game on professional and getting around a thousand points knowing that I'm going to score quite a few goals. We take one of the worst teams that I had as a selection and this is now the 92nd minute as you can see I had a red card from just messing about. Uh, so I'm just going to show you the last goal that I scored just a regular tap in from Collins which is actually the player we're trying to get with this objective. I just had him in my club. I wouldn't waste my money on good Irish players to do this objective. Just get anyone from your club and just go on professional. If you're a half decent player, you'll be managed to you'll manage to score a couple of goals, take you one, two, maybe three games at the least. So I ended up winning that one six nil. You'll see there. Uh, I got one goal of Clark with hat trick of Collins, and then my right mid and my centre mid got goals each. So I had six of the seven and that was one of the two squad battles that I won by two goals so I do go into another game eventually um, where I just played the other terrible team I had as an option so um, it's not that difficult the four object the f uh, Max Aaron's actually was quite tough I lost about three games because people just kept scoring and just doing a disconnect glitch so that was quite a bit but then um, once you do the five, it's not that hard doing the other ones, because for Pukey, so you had you just had to score. You didn't have to. I don't think you had. I, you did have to win, but um, winning wasn't that hard. As you can see there, I had a red card. Um, I put him on the bench and then replaced him for the uh, player of the season, I think, or player of the month. Um, A two on Duffy, who was the Republic of Ireland, like that league. Uh, can't pronounce the name of the league but he was there 81 special item I just put him in there not really for any reason other than thinking I had some Republic of Ireland league players but I didn't so I just stuck him in there for good measure and I went into the second game against uh, what was the rating 65 60 something rated team you can see there the, pol the person just started they had a default name for the club I go in with the Northern Lights kit, but then realise that it, I don't want two dark kits playing against each other, so I just switch to the Polish kit, as you can see there. Mostly bronze team, couple of golds, a random silver. Just started the game here. So I'm going to show you the end of the game. The AI just passing round. I was 8-2. I scored a couple of goals with the Irish players. Not that big of a problem. There you go. So that was um, both of the objectives done. Billy Clark getting a hat trick, securing the weekly objective, Collins card, and the Norwood card as well from the League Two in England. You can see there, eight two win. Just take the coins, and uh, roughly a thousand points, I think. Yeah, one thousand eighty. The points really weren't an issue. I didn't really care. I just wanted to get the objective cards as soon as possible the video so I speed this up here and I left all four to collect at the end because I figured it would look kind of nice getting all four so as you can see there Max Aaron's Team Yupuki James Collins and James Norwood all of them completed um, it only took me the entire not the entire but like from like 8 to like 11 30 Saturday morning I'm recording this voiceover kind of late I should have done it earlier I just didn't feel like recording it any earlier. There you go, James Norwood, 85 pace, looks really nice, um, except that his dribbling stats let him down. 59 composure ain't great, but for someone w who crosses a lot, 89 jumping will help and 88 stamina means he will last the whole game. Uh, the next one we get, I think, is Max Ahrens, if I'm not mistaken. Just scrolling up, yeah, Max Ahrens, the right back, 84 rated Norwich player. And we look into his stats, he has 92 pace, which is really nice as a right back. 86 dribbling is good when you look at it, but 99 agility, 99 balance helps a lot. 
uh, his reactions are terrible, but um, and his interceptions are terrible. But his other three main defensive stats are good, uh, with uh, very good stamina as well. Um, the other card, the third card, Timmy Puki. We look at his stats. Another Norwich player you could convert him to centre mid and strong link with him. Oh, that's my phone. Um, we look into his stats. Three star, three star ain't the best, but 88 pace, really good. 88 shooting very nice his composure lets him down on the dribbling a little bit but as well 89 jumping and 94 stamina will help anyone who crosses a lot and anyone in general because they would last the whole game and the last one which i think looks really interesting is james collins if we look at his in-game stats 87 pace that's really nice 87 shooting which is apart from a long shot that's terrible um good passing um, with 95 quick actually there, 95 agility as well for six foot two, that is really nice. And then very good, well-rounded physical stats um, with 97 heading accuracy as well. But his three-star weak foot does let him down a bit, and the two-star skill moves. But there we go. That's all four of the objective cards. Um, if you enjoyed this video again in any way, um, uh, comment, like, share, like, comment, share, subscribe. Anything would be massively appreciated. See you guys later.